Will history repeat itself after the consensus? Let's take a look and find out. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Alcoin Picks. I'm Stefan. For those that are new, welcome. And for our subs, thank you for that continued support. We have some great news coming up. We have a couple of new members joining our team. We will be making an intro video and talk a little bit about our backgrounds and give a little short backstory about why we're bullish long term. If you guys want to keep updated with our broadcast, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We have been a lot more active on social media, anticipating the growth of Bitcoin once again. What do you guys think? Bullish? Bearish? Should the history repeat itself? But first, let me talk about this website, the website of this video called Wallet Investor. So why do I like Wallet Investor? Let's say, for example, you want to swap some tokens and you just don't know exactly how much of anything you're gonna need. So let's take a comparison using one Bitcoin. So with one Bitcoin, you, you just wanna grab any token out there. It could be Polymat, I've been wanting to take a position in Polymat, but let's take, a, let's take an example of Orange Trail. I made a trade in Orange Trail a while back and I used about 0.7 BTC. Let's take a look at Orange Trail. So with one Bitcoin, you can get almost 28,000 coins of Orange Trail. And with 0.7 BTC about six weeks ago, I was able to get 50,000 coins. That just shows Orange Trail has appreciated in value. So this website is so cool, it's so simple. You can use fractional numbers and it's just a small little simple conversion. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, you can just use a calculator, but this could be also you could just even use, you know, you, you, you just, you just want to swap a coin for a coin. Let's say you just had some EOS, you know, and then you wanted to convert it to NEO, you know, and voila, it just, it would just give you that breakdown. And this is just so simple. You know, I, I like this a lot because it would just right away give you what the swap ratio will be. It even kind of give you a little bit of the volume and the 24 hour difference, but I just like the simple math that this gives you right away. So walletinvestment.com, I'll just put that in your bookmarks. If you do like to swap a few coins once in a while, if you like to take out profits and keep killing on your USD and trying to liquidate some of those extra coins you got, this is a good website to be using. And why is everyone so obsessed with the consensus 2018 why is this event so hyped let's dive in and find out so if you're in the social media space at all you have got to see by now one of these charts it will show some comparisons of 2015 2016 2017 2018 and you're gonna see what what happened during the consensus and then after the consensus there's a couple different ones you're gonna see this one it shows that even you know what should people expect from 2017 to 2018 this one is actually even even funnier because it, it shows you almost to the t what's been going on year after year about that little bull trap that happens right before the event and then boom that breakout and just for people that are into Google Trends, this is what some people out there are expecting that's gonna happen this year. You know, you have that little bit of that interest on 2015 and it has grown. 2017, you have that explosion. People were just foaming across the board and just buying up Bitcoin. They didn't even know what it was, but they were able to get a hold of it. And now after this huge crash and people were just so turned off by Bitcoin, Google Trends wasn't really reading up too well, but the people in the space are quite bullish and they're really hoping that this is going to be that extra push that bulls are going to need to take charge again. What do I think? I personally really like the idea that this consensus has always made people bring back their interest again but i don't like when people already expect something to repeat just because previous years 
I've done the same thing. And this article, this really short article, is going to kind of give you a little brief idea of why. So this short article in medium.com written by Jack Purdy on January 22nd, this was just right after the market already started crashing and most people were freaking out. He came up with this short article where he stated a few truths and this will apply to a lot of folks out there. And he will just go on about a few pointers. And this is something that was paraphrased by Warren Buffett that never to invest in something you don't understand. I think this is super important. A lot of folks out there, if you if you go on social media, so many folks don't even know what blockchain is. That is definitely something you want to dive into if you're going to be interested in cryptocurrencies. Another, por another portion of his article that I really agree on is that in bull markets, just about any coin that you invest will likely bring you returns. And this is the part that gets really catchy. You cannot expect this to go indefinitely. He even brings out this quote, I don't actually know who Navel is, which is making money through an early luck trade is the worst way to win. The bad habits that reinforces will lead to a lifetime of losses. And this is actually true. A lot of traders or investors, they can be lucky at one time and they will forever repeat the mistake hoping that it's going to happen again. So, th so there is a huge difference between trading, investing and gambling. And this is what happens a lot in cryptocurrencies. There is so many different tokens. Likely people will be buying anything that has been going up. So he also brings up another topic, which is the price of some of these evaluations compared to some really well-founded companies such as Binance Coin having market caps as JC Penny, Sia Coin, Freddie Mac, Right Blocks, which has since changed to Nano to GameStop, and now look at Ripple. They have equivalent market caps as Southwest Airlines. So he even brings up that digital currencies offer so much more than a good investment to make you high returns and that they have the potential to truly change the world and positively impact the lives of billions of people. This is definitely something I want to be invested in. So there is a few other pointers. If you guys are interested in read the rest of the article, just check out his name, Jack Purdy. Am I bullish on Bitcoin? Yes, I am long term. Do I really believe the consensus is going to change this shift? What's what's making people feel very bearish, even though the market has slowly been going up? Hard to say. I am in the space to stay. Do I just believe in HODL? Not really. But what do you guys think? What do you guys expect out of this consensus? If you guys want to put a little comment down below, I'll take a look. I'll make sure I respond. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.